Fresh Nation. Um, yeah, <laughs> it is officially the 1st of August. Well, when I'm making this, that is. It says the 1st of August on my laptop, so that's what I'm going with. Uh, yeah, I've not made a video for about two weeks. Well, technically three. It's the third week. So, um, you probably assume there's going to be a haul. Macaca. Just a bit. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, quickly go over it, because, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go over it. Uh, first off, stuff that was obtained from Kempthy's Community Charity Shop from separate occasions, not all at once, but from separate times going there. Uh, first off would be Devastator's right arm. I already have the head. I've already got Mixed Master, so yeah, I've got Supreme Devastator's head and arm. Here's the thing, when Supreme Devastator first came out, no one had any real interest in it, seriously. Yes, it gave us a version of Devastator from the movie, but it was shit, because each piece would only form the arm. You wouldn't be able to form the individual robots unless you uh, got all the figures that were released, because they never made a hook. They uh, planned on making an overload, but never did. And technically, if you actually watch the film, Devastator is not made up of seven components. It's actually made up of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine units, because there are two pieces that become the claws. And there's a middle piece that goes in between uh, the digger and the loader because, yeah, as uh, soon as there was an alternative to getting a transforming version of Devastator, the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Legends EZ version. Basically, they were just legends. They were literally just legend class Transformers. In the US, uh, you had the opportunity of either buying them all separately, so you could buy one at a time, which came with instructions, or you could go to Toys R Us and get a special box set, which comes with no instructions whatsoever. Yeah, um, in the UK, on the other hand, the only way to get him was that. Um, in the US, I believe he was about 30 bucks with tax. Over here is about 21 quid. He was only around for about three months. I've owned two of them in my life because the um, uh, first one had a crack in it. And that is my second one, which has only been out of the box once. Um, they did repaint them slightly. Uh, they repainted the bulldozer Rampage in red to match his on-screen appearance. They repainted uh, Scrapper into the white demolisher, which, to be honest, sort of works. Sort of. Um, and there were two G1 versions. There was the Karatomi G1, which came with silver and purple highlights, which looks gorgeous. And then there is the US version, never came over to the UK unfortunately, even as a web exclusive or Toys R Us exclusive. Um, barely any purple. Yeah, the, the one thing that set the uh, constructor cons apart from all other, they didn't have much purple on them. So, yeah. Uh, Devastator's arm. That's the story behind that. Um, next item would be a new tripod. Well, it's not 
new per se, but it's still usable. And I've just realized I forgot to turn on uh, charging, so I've only got limited time to do this. Oh well, that's not a good thing. Yeah. So yeah, got a new tripod. I might do a comparison with my big one, maybe at the end of the video. I don't know. But yeah, got a new tripod. I'll most likely be using this for auto assembly. I'm either using this tripod or that tripod that is currently underfoot of that one. But I'm not taking my camera. No, I'm taking my granddad's because I can't get my Fujifilm fixed. Yeah. Uh, I've got batteries for it. If I need any extra, I'll just buy more. So, yeah. It's coming up in three weeks. So I need to get prepared. Uh, next item is the solar cell morpher. Or the uh, ticket phone morpher from uh, Magi Ranger. Uh, mine is a first release. The simple way I can tell you how it's a first release. A little peg. It's clear. Uh, secondary releases had blue pegs. This one is clear. Um, yeah, the Japanese version was an actual ticket punch. So basically, you would put a card into it, press the button by here, and it would be an actual ticket punch. So it was actual, it was an actual hole punch. So it acted like a real ticket punch, which is also a problem because a lot of kids would be damaging their cards. So yeah, it's actually really rare to find complete cards. Um, this thing has no electronics for the keypad. It only has three sounds. Trigger pull. That. Then we have the button here. Wait, that's not right, that's not right. Accidentally pulled the trigger. Uh, there's this one. It's the generic key sound. But every time you activate one of the sounds, the little screen lights up. And then, when you pull the trigger and hold the button, activates the transformation. So, yeah. It's pretty basic, it really is. But most secondary morphers are basic. Especially for Mix Mystic Force, because this got three variants. It's got Solar Cell, it got a gold variant, just like the Japanese version, and then it got the Battleizer variant. So, yeah. Also, the prototype of the toy came with a completely different blade. You're, you're going to have to look up the packaging for that, because I don't want to get into depths. I'm already on a timer. Um, next item is a Thundercat. I have a little Wily kit. And the support. Um, yeah. I have a Thundercat. Um, my excuse is. Um, I got two SWAT cats, so I may as well have two. Th I may as well have a Thundercat. I'm a cat person. Not. <laughs> I'm, I'm an animal person. That's just how it is. Um, there's that. Next item is a basic ball puzzle. I've always wanted one of these, so yeah, they are tricky as fuck. Well, for me, they are. Eh, bad hand eye coordination. The marble is annoying. Uh, next item. What well, items? Um, we have an Xbox 360 magazine, issue 58 from 2010. So, yeah, it's in. Really good condition. I don't give a shit 
on people's opinions about the 360. Um, I can tell you this right now, it is better than the fucking Xbox One, because, well, let's see here. Um, the Xbox 360 actually sold when it was released. What can you say about the Xbox One? Nothing. So, yeah, I got magazine. Still have yet to look through. But, yeah, looks pretty good. It really does. Quite a few good games in there as well. Um, next is a poster from Pokemon World. It's just the poster for uh, Giratina and the Sky Warrior. Which happens to be uh, one of my favourite films, just for the fact it has my true favourite Pokemon. A little game I've been playing for a long time. Um, I'll talk about, about that at the end, because <laughs> I don't have much time. Uh, next item is uh, an actual comic book. So, yeah. Uh, it's two tales, so it's two twisted tales, Batman, the Dark Knight, and Gotham's Tangled Web. Uh, it's worth about three quid. Yeah, bought from a charity shop. This is, this is my first official comic book. Yes, I have graphic novels. Yes, I have manga, but those are types of comic. This is an actual comic book. So, yeah, this is my first comic book. There are ways of classifying them. Manga is a type of comic due to the fact it is a really thick book, similar to a graphic novel. So, yeah. Um, next up are just some, just a few items that have been obtained. So, uh, first off is a little toy truck from uh, Royal Welsh Show. My mum was working there. Yes, I say mum rather than mom or mother. Uh, would you rather say the? Would you rather I say the person that gave birth to me? <laughs> no. So, yeah, my mum worked at Royal Welsh this year, and uh, she managed to snag one of these. So yeah. It's a nice little truck, it's made by Corgi, and by Hornby Hobbies, so yeah, I like that sort of stuff, so when I can get my shelves sorted, this thing's going up. Um, next thing is something from Tesco's, from the charity bookshelf, uh, Monster Maker, by Nicholas Fisk. Um, <laughs> you may be wondering what the fuck this is. Um, the book that implies sentience. Basically, uh, this thing here. Basically, the story is that that thing could be alive. You know, like, I just love stories that imply sentience, because, well, you rarely find them, and it's kind of nice to see if whether they can pull it off or not. And, I just enjoy I just enjoy stories with machines that have sentience or objects that have sentience. So yeah, I like that. I really do. It's pretty good. Um, now to be honest, the find of the year, personally, a complete Dino Rider. Yeah. Uh, the box is damaged, um, some of the parts do have whiting on them due to their original owner. Here's the thing, it's never been put together. Yeah, I, I measured the pegs, they don't fit. It's never been put together. It is one of those that has an opening lid. Everything is in there, I've counted all the parts. Um, there is a weird anomaly. Um, the little tail ring by here. It's actually grey in the set. Um, I know why that happens. 
Um, the images you see on the packaging are the preliminary, meaning the prototypes, they're never actually the ones you get. It's just like with current toys, you'll look at the box, you get the toy, and then you'll see some slight color issues. You'll see um, this bit is a lighter shade, this is a completely different component, uh, this piece does not fit like that, st stuff like that. They're preliminary images, they're just stock photos. It's uh, nothing too serious, but some things that can piss you off, uh, like Soundway from the Beast Hunters line. All his brown pieces on his body, they're supposed to be black on the stock photos. The toy's brown, and to be honest, it would have helped Ravage if they were black. Funny pie is it would have been cheaper for them to have produced it in black. It would have been so much cheaper. Oh uh, yeah, there's that. Uh, from the charity shop next to community charity shop, I got this. Um, yeah, Ghost in the Shell. The third copy. If three copies of this DVD proved you, it will prove that I have three copies. Here's the copy I got the other day. It's in a sleeve. So, yeah. It is a sleeved copy. This is the copy I got from Oxfam a long time ago. And here's the two pack copy that I got from the Red Cross shop nearly three years ago. Funny thing is, this and this are the exact same cover. <laughs> but yeah, the way I tell the difference, this one that came from the two pack doesn't have the insert. Doesn't have this. That makes it a little bit heavier. It makes it a tiny little bit heavier, so that's how I tell that this one is here. So yeah, I do officially have three copies of Ghost in the Shell. And I have Ghost in the Shell 2 Innocence, which I have yet to watch. So I have one, two, and three copies. Um, this one I may sell, because, well, I got the two special editions. I got sleeve version and the box set version, so I don't really need the loose version. But I guess I could keep all three if I really wanted. So, yeah. Um, on a side note, I actually have something rather funny. Um, speaking about the Dino Riders, I have... Dino Riders on DVD. Um, yes, it says complete series at the bottom. Um, that is incorrect. It is not a full series. Um, there is at least one episode that I know of that I don't have on here, and that is the Ice Age episode. There was an there was an episode towards the end where they accidentally go forwards in time a tiny bit and uh, go to the Ice Age. It was only for that one episode, but it's it's not on here. And uh, yeah, it is uh, two discs. So yeah, there are 13 episodes on here. Yeah. Putting very few episodes on discs kind of pisses me off. It really does. It, it, it's just... Why do that, really? But, like, like, we collect the box sets for anime. 
you give people like five discs for how many episodes per disc? Three or four episodes per disc. Um, yeah, th th that's really stupid. That really is stupid. Because I've seen discs that have enough space for 16 episodes. I is it really so much to put a good chunk of the series onto one disc? Like, my Bleach, um, my Bleach DVDs, um, complete series one, that's only 20 episodes, five discs. Really? Five discs? Sure, that's four episodes per disc, but really? Just really? Uh, that just doesn't register. It really doesn't. So, yeah, I always found that stupid. It was always stupid. Why put so few episodes onto a disc? It's stupid. Eh. Oh well. Uh, with Ghost in the Shell, yeah, I could allow it, because, well, I got the first series, and it's four episodes per disc. That way, yeah, I could allow it, because, well, it kind of works that way, but everything else is just weird. Evangelion, that's the worst offender. That really is the worst offender. <laughs> um, that's all my hauls, so, yeah. Um... Now something to show you that I've been working on. Um, <clears throat> uh, you know I mentioned in my few previous updates about buddy fight. Um, here's what I got so far of my custom buddy. Well, one of them. Crush Bunker Dragon. Yes, that is a dress. This bit here. That is a dress. Crush is a girl, so why not? <laughs> well, when you're using a drill as a weapon, especially when you have two of them, it's logical to have high mobility in the legs and have good armor on the upper torso, so it kind of works. And plus, I thought it'd be a funny idea because whenever she's not wearing the armor or whenever she's in small form, she would be wearing a dress. I always thought that was kind of cute. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, that is Crush's design. Still working on Stuka and still working on Axel. Um, other things I've been working on um, Assassination Classroom. Um, I found out that. Um, Fan fiction, they have a monthly reset of views and stats. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> it's not like it tells me. So, yeah, I had to do quite a bit of fiddling. Because earlier today, I checked, all my stats were on zero. So, yeah, I kind of had to check and fiddle around. But, yeah, so far I've got over 200 views overall on Assassin's Classroom. I'm including uh, registered views, as in people with accounts, and views from visitors. I'm counting those as views, because technically it's someone looking at it. Um, so far, Assassination Classroom has five reviews, and they're all positive. So, yeah. Um, I will need to touch up on some of the uh, chapters. So, yeah, I'm going to need to touch up on that because there's a few spelling errors. Like with Ms, Mr, and Mrs. Yeah, I was never taught that in school. I really wasn't. So, I think I might have goofed and used the wrong term for that. So, yeah. Um, currently, I'm actually on chapter uh, 17, page 2. Uh... Something funny. Sound wave. 
I've included a funny little joke, which I'm wondering how far I'm going to go with it. <laughs> well, as we know, in Transformers Prime, Soundwave was sent to the Shadow Realm. Um, technically, he still could get out if done correctly, but I've decided to um, do something myself. Hey, may I? My AU, my rules. <laughs> and plus, this is a crossover universe. What do you fucking expect? I've crossed over Gaim. I've crossed over O's. I've crossed over Bleach. I've crossed over Shaman King. I've crossed over Transformers. <laughs> I'm crossing over Buddy Fight, Gundam, and Assassination Classroom. Sue me. Get used to it. This is my universe. <laughs> I don't give a shit about what you say. <laughs> my universe, my rules. Um, yeah. Let's see, what else? <laughs> um, but if I, I've not touched that for a while, because I've not really had juices flowing. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, Assassin's Classroom is currently where I'm going at the moment. Uh, some chapters you may notice that the wording is kind of weird. It's quite work, it's not very cohesive, but uh, from what people have told me, it works. But just remember, I don't know what I'm doing. I just do it. I'm literally just doing, so I really don't know what I'm doing. It's just how it is. Um, let me think, what else? Uh, <laughs> Uh, 3D models, I can actually talk about that. Um, I finished DX Shin after nearly three weeks. Uh, I managed to rig the legs, which was surprising. Uh, it was the ass that gave me the problem. So much vertex. Why did they have to model the ass? Yeah, I had to use a base dragon. Uh, I had to use a dragon base 3D model. You can find them on Deviant, they're uh, anthropomorphic dragon bases. Uh, humanoid faces, no hair, stuff like that. Um, yeah, really weird, it really was. Um, gave DX a brand new claw. Uh, I actually gave him leg armor from my first rendition of him. Uh, still no hair. <laughs> uh, gave him new wings, well, semi new wings. They don't flap now. They just extend. Uh, no Lumio Knuckle, nothing like that. Uh, I'm also, I've also done human model, so that's ready to be put up. I can put some picks up for that. And I'm also going to be using those for animations, so yeah, look forward to that. Um, other models, that would be uh, Berserk. Yeah, uh, I've started work on actually building Berserk. Um, for those who don't know about Berserk, I'm not referring to the anime. I am referring to a character of mine, or actually a form shift. Um, when DX just completely zones out, meaning when he feels absolutely no emotion whatsoever, um, there is a possibility that he will go into Berserk form. Basically, Berserk form is gun form, but more sleek and toned down. Whereas gun form is covered head to toe in guns, Berserk form makes it absolute minimal. Arms, tail, shoulders, chest. That is it. Gun form has gun in the mouth. Gun in the knees, gun on the toes, tail covered in guns, wings covered in guns, guns all over the arms. Everything is guns, hence the name gun form. But Berserk form keeps it to the absolute minimal. So, comes to the arms, chest, shoulders, tail. That is it. Um, Still working on chest section because I kind of want to do a 
opening chest to reveal a giant blaster because I've already got a blaster in the chest I'm just trying to work on the actual frame so yeah still working on that part um, I'm thinking I might actually need to use a Gundam so yeah look forward to that bullshit <laughs> no seriously look forward to that bullshit because I am <laughs> um, let me think what else do I need to sort out Mm. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can think of. <laughs> um, oh yeah, auto assembly. Um, that's completely booked. It's all sorted. Just need to do a few small things. One, I need to get my granddad to give me cash rather than the check because we can't check it. I don't have a bank account still. So I need that 500 quid because I'm taking 200 with me to AA. <laughs> Here's the thing. Uh, so I explained to my dad about it. He asked me how much I was thinking about taking. Um, I said I wanted to take 200. He didn't sound too happy about that, but I explained to him that it's a just-in-case scenario, as in, like, if I see something that I've been hunting for, but I just don't quite have the right amount, then the 200 would come in handy. Then I'd be able to just add on to that, grab a hold of it, try and haggle it down. It's simple. But the 200 is not just going towards uh, uh, toys. It's also going towards food and drink because I'm 18 most likely I'm going to be walking up to the bar and getting a drink so yeah uh, that also presents a slight issue because I don't have ID so I could just simply explain to them that my birthday was earlier this year because well it was in January I'm 18 born in 97 so yeah I could simply just tell them all that but there's still going to be the possibility that they require me to show them actual ID. And a con badge doesn't do that, because on the website you can just put in any date you want. Literally, there's no verification data. So yeah, there's that. Um, another thing that's going to be at Auto Assembly, a first for the convention. A broadcaster's booth, which is going to be cool. Uh, basically, if you're a podcaster or vlogger, or toy reviewer, that's where you can go to do something. And I might take advantage of that, maybe. Basically, they got all the equipment there, so I'm not sure if you have to bring something to review or if they provide it. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, you make a video, they keep the footage, upload it to Dropbox, they give you the link afterwards, and uh, now you download it. I might take advantage of that because, yeah, he's going to be a bit more trouble because I need all the engine cells for him. Um, I'm going to need to do some more work because I actually need to go on. I've got six minutes of footage left. Fuck. Okay, um, I'm going to cut the video here. So, give me a second. I'll be right back.